Hey guys, it's Jet888 here again. So this is a little continuing from my video just a couple minutes ago here on uh, March 28th. That's a Monday. So the searches showed that I went to the transgender um, information um, about that judge at both 11.59 p.m. and 7.52 a.m. So those are pages I did not go to, but I'm going to go to them right now because I want to add a little bit more to this. So yesterday this does show, look, that I went to the ABC 10, but also to the left of it. This was the first page that I had looked at. So I'm going to go here. And this is the article that kind of caught my eye. Newsom appoints California's first openly transgender judge to the bench, but then that Channel 10 said that, that she, he, whatever, was a, the second transgender, whatever. I don't want to get into this. But so here's, here's this person. And again, I think this name is interesting. The last name, Mudruck, it just looks like that to me. It reminds me of the word mud rakers, and uh, this says, writing to Congress in hopes of correcting abuses was slow and often produced zero results. Publishing a series of articles had much more immediate impact than series of articles or videos, I guess, collectively called muck rakers, a brave cadre of reporters exposing injustices so, so grave that they made the blood of the average American run cold. I also looked up this word, mud raker, reform-minded American journalists who attacked established institutions and leaders as corrupt, which is kind of what's going on right now. But also this word came up, muck rock, American nonprofit that facilitates freedom of information requests. And I think that's weird that there's a squid or is that an octopus. It's just weird that that's the uh, symbol. But back to this word and this, um, I'm just going to go check, just look at the Bible real quick. And we're going to look at Genesis. And I've covered this before. When I look at the anagrams, Genesis is C sign or is genes. And when we're talking about genes, look what's going on right now with the mRNA um, information. That's messing with our genes, isn't it? So here at Genesis 20, where is it? Uh, 27 I think this is weird so God created men under his own shadow creating them in the shadow of God what's the shadow the shadow seems dark but it says and constituting them male and female male and female it doesn't say transgender it says male and female but then I found something else which is weird now here at Genesis, sorry the dogs, gosh, um, Genesis 21 here says, So the ever-living God threw the man into a stupor. Sorry, that was upside down, I think. So the ever-living God threw the man into a stupor, and he slept, and taking one of his ribs. Now when you look at the word ribs, that's R-I-B. When you, I look at ribs, and I can see ribonucleic acid. That's what they call RNA. And with the shots that people have been getting, the mRNA, uh, ribonucleic acid to me is ribs. That's someone's DNA information. He closed the flesh in this place, and from the rib, which the ever-living God had taken out of the man, he constructed a woman and brought her to the man. And the man said, this form is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, or flesh of my own flesh. This shall be named woman, because she was taken from man. Now listen to this. Man shall therefore leave his father and his mother, and shall unite with his wife, and they shall be one body. That's weird. They shall be one body. So we have we been tricked? I'm just wondering, have we been tricked? Look at that. When I look at the word Holy Bible, I'm looking at the anagrams where you shift the words around. It's by bio hell or Holy Libel. By bio hell. Is that what we're in right now? Bio hell? And I'm just bringing him into this because of my Windows situation this morning. But Bill Gates equals BL stage. All right, but I just find that interesting, this uh, anagram for the word. 
I don't know why it just mucked up. Look at it, it can't even focus now. It's so weird. Anyhow, think about it. 